George and Charlotte have become headline acts within the royal family in recent years, and delight fans when they occasionally appear in public. There was an excited flurry when the pair appeared with their father Prince William on a Father's Day trip to kickstart a half marathon at the weekend as fans gushed over how the children had shot up in height since their last public appearance. The images of George, 7, and Charlotte, 6, are carefully controlled by William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, who are determined to give their children a sense of normality and privacy as they grow up making it even more interesting when the family does embark on a rare outing. Speaking to Express.co.uk, royal biographer and acquaintance to Prince Charles, Howard Hodgson said he thought the children would soon be able to exercise their international appeal, too. After US President Joe Biden invited the Queen to visit him in the White House, Royal Watchers speculated that she would send William and Kate in her place as the 95-year-old now refrains from international travel when she can. Mr. Hodgson then claimed that if their two eldest children were to join the Cambridges, they would be showstoppers. He said, The royal family are wonderful ambassadors for the UK across the world and nowhere more so than the US. Therefore, a charm offensive led by either Prince Charles or Prince William could be very helpful. The Prince of Wales is respected and admired at the highest level in the US and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, especially if accompanied by their children, would be showstoppers there. Kensington Palace declined to comment when contacted by Express.co.uk. The two eldest Cambridge children are seasoned travellers by now. George made headlines around the globe when he accompanied his parents to Sydney and New Zealand back in 2014, echoing the trip Princess Diana made with newborn Prince William back in 1983. Charlotte went on her first overseas trip when she was just one. Her family took her on their eight-day tour of Canada back in 2016. Prince Louis, three, is Kate and William's youngest child and has not accompanied them on any international tours as the pandemic put international travel on lockdown. Back in 2016, Charlotte was also declared number one most influential in the Tatler list, although the editorial board behind the decision said it would never reveal the specifics of how people are ranked. Charlotte is also set to bring £3.2 billion into the UK economy, making her the most valuable royal child according to analysis from Brand Finance conducted in 2017. In a statement released the following year, the company's CEO David Haig said, The royal children have a positive impact on the sales of particular clothes and toy brands they wear or play with. In this sense they have a very similar effect on brands as their mother, the Duchess of Cambridge, who has a real Midas touch, everything she touches turns into gold. George was said to be worth less at £2.4 billion, but that is because there is more money in the girls' fashion industry. His influence in the fashion world is astounding too. The blanket he was wrapped in his first public appearance after his birth was ordered more than 10,000 times in the following hours. This became known as the Prince George effect, which has only grown as the royal ages. His first Christmas portrait saw his outfit sell out online before the official photographs were even released. As George is third in line to the throne, followed by his sister and then his younger brother, there is only going to be most interest in the siblings as they grow up. The popularity of William and Kate's shared Instagram account, at Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, with more than 12 million followers, demonstrates how the family have a healthy fanbase. Their most liked photograph of 2020 was taken by Kate herself, showing William cuddling all three of his children ahead of his birthday last year. It received a staggering 2,416,000 likes.